All right, boys, dual nationals. Every team has them and every team wants them. The United States is in a unique predicament though because we happen to have a lot of them. Today, we'll be going over some dual nationals that could possibly choose the USMNT in the future. Without further ado, let's roll right into this video. Our first dual national of interest is 17-year-old Brian Oko. Brian plays for Red Bull Salzburg in Austria. He has yet to have played a first team minute with the club, but he has shown a lot of promise. And I can make a promise to you guys that this guy is absolutely filthy on the pitch. As a center back, Brian would be huge for the men in red, white, and blue, as the United States doesn't have that many elite center backs. Oko does have a lot of nations he can play for though. He can take a gander between the United States, Congo, Switzerland, or Nigeria. So don't get your high hopes too high, as this young man may very well choose a different nation to go and play for. Another center back that could very well play for the United States is Kick Pierre. Kick was born in Boston, Massachusetts by Dutch parents. Since then, he's grown up in the Netherlands and plays for FC Twente on loan from Ajax. But real quick. I ask you to stop watching this and go and subscribe. Sorry that I just saw the opportunity, I had to take it. But if you know anything about Ajax, they develop talent like no other. Kick already seems to be a great center back and he's only 20 years of age. Don't get me wrong, he still has a lot of developing to do, but he still ranks as one of the best center back prospects. Now on to what I would say is our best dual national team player. We've already seen him play in the stripes, but will he keep those stripes on? Eunice Musa. Musa has been a breakout sensation this year. At only 18 years of age, Musa is a crucial player for Spanish giants Valencia. He's quick, he's dynamic, and he's technical on the ball. If the United States could seal the deal with this youngster, that would be monumental. Currently, he can either play for the United States via birth in New York City or England as he grew up there, but realistically, he is most likely going to choose the three Lions. But there still is a chance he might pick the States. Only time will tell where he ends up. Another England dual national that was born in New York City is Fall Balligan. Full currently plays for Arsenal as a striker. In the Premier League 2 this season, he has tallied 4 goals and 2 assists. That's pretty good. But even more impressive is his 2 goals and 1 assist in the Europa League this season. Balogun looks to be very exciting as a striker for the future. If he does play for the United States, I could see him and Josh Sargent fighting for that number 9 position. Before we go to the next player, and believe me, it's a really good player, I just want to chime in real quick. If you guys could hit that subscribe button, it really means a lot. As you can see, most people who watch our videos don't sub, so please break that trend and click that button. Anyways, another very exciting striker that could sneak his way into the United States squad is Malik Sonogo. Sonogo currently plays for FC Union Berlin in the Bundesliga. Right now though, he's not playing with the first team, but rather the U17 squad. At only 16 years of age, he has tallied in 6 goals and 1 assist in 4 appearances in the U17 Bundesliga. Like most people on this list though, he has a lot of nations he can play for. The United States, Germany, and the Ivory Coast are all possible destinations for this young stud. Staying in Germany, we have yet another striker, Malik Tillman, who recently just got promoted to Bayern Munich's first team. He is the son of a German mother and US military father. His pace, his strength, and his control make him a threat against any front line that he sees. Before the coronavirus outbreak, Tillman scored 13 goals for Bayern U19 team making him the league's top goal scorer. Many people have compared Tillman to Pugba in the past as he once played center mid. Not a bad person to be compared to, if I do may say so. And the last striker on our list is Niels Froling. Froling was born in Dallas, Texas, but grew up in Sweden. He currently plays for Kalmar in the Swedish top flight. So far this season, he has scored two goals in 10 appearances. He is still relatively young, only 20 years of age, so he has a lot of time to improve and mature. If I had to compare Nils to uh, a well-known player from the past, I would say he reminds me of a raw, a raw version of Wayne Rooney. Recently, it has been reported that Dutch giants AZ Alkmaar are monitoring him and may take a shot on him in the future. By the way, did I mention this kid has an absolute cannon of a foot. 
Switching up a bit, the next player on our list is Samuel Chachawa, who currently plays as a left winger for CD Tenerife in La Liga 2. There's still some debate whether Samuel is eligible for the United States as he has played many games with England's youth teams, and there is no clear sign whether he attained his United States citizenship even though he was born here. Odd situation. Anyways, in the past, he played very good with Spurs youth sides, and since then has played fairly decent in Spain. Sam probably is the biggest long shot on our list. Another winger is Alex Mighton, who plays for Nottingham Forest in the English Championship. Just recently, he has broken into the squad and has looked very, very good. He was born in West Hartford, Connecticut, but grew up in England. He has played with all the England youth teams, but is still eligible to play for the United States. Hopefully, the U.S. can cop this beauty. Another winger slash attack and center mid is Afrain Alvarez, but Afrain can't play for the United States until he files for a one-time switch. This is because he has already played for El Tri in the U-17 World Cup, where he put on a good showing. This season, he was LA Galaxy's only bright spot in an abysmal season. And if you follow us for any MLS content, then you know how abysmal that season was. His creativity and flair has really shined as of late, as both nations are fighting for the highly praised prospect. My mind is saying he'll choose the men in green, but my heart is saying he'll choose the US of A. And finally, to the last player on our list, we have Anel Sabinzovic. Now please, if I butchered that name, go easy on me. But if you made it this far, thank you. Anel was born in Jackson, Missouri, but moved to Bosnia at a very young age. Currently, he plays for AEK Athens in Greece as a center defensive mid. The USMNT are pretty stacked at the center defensive mid position, having Adams, McKinney, and Adesawi, but it can never hurt to have more. More, the better. Who knows, maybe he'll end up being better than all of them. I highly doubt that, but hey, who knows? Well, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more content just like this, please like, comment, and subscribe as these videos take a very long time to make. Really, you guys have no idea. Also, go check out our store. The link is in the description below. We have a bunch of soccer designs on there you guys will probably like. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.